here. I didn't know, I just wanted to get out of Chicago. You know, I didn't know there was going to be, you know, so peaceful here. I didn't know there was going to be so, I mean, we talk about Ikrama Muslimin and effect. Ikwani Muslimin in effect, you know, going on like that. You know, I knew what uh, the man was, uh, uh, we are here, we was uh, trying to achieve, it was a noble, very noble effort. And uh, it's just that sometimes, you know, you get caught, you know, with, you know this and that, and, you know, it kind of overrides what you want, what you need. But this time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he just said, go to <laughs> South Bend. And we, we have such a good time. We talked about all month long. All month long. We talked about, because we ride back. We were riding up the road, up the highway, and I, I turned to Abel Mook, I said, Abel Mook, he was driving. I said, Abel Mook, did you notice that there was like no fit the whole weekend? I'm talking about smooth. I'm talking about like smooth. <laughs> no fit And it was like, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who knows how to, he's a jam, he knows how to mix it up. Jam it together, and he, he put together some chemistry here. that was like something that was like therapeutic, and it was more than just a jamming. Now he's a shafi. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, it was it was a healing, you know, to be around the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in the eyes I read, and the last time he said, don't let this, the fact that you are with disbelievers be a proof against your own soul. The open proof against your own soul. And that's a serious item. Because uh, a lot of times Muslims in their pursuit of uh, their portion of the dunya, they get disproportionate with it. And they find themselves, you know, surrounded by a bunch of disbelievers. And many of them are dyed in the wool Catholics. I mean, who hate this land? I mean, I mean, hate, hate, anything has to do with this land. Allah on down, you know, to the, you know, the, the, the poor. This skin in the dust who still raises his hand calm upon the law. One who those who take all law. And so subhanAllah, we get around these people who saw Allah saw and warned us something to the effect he said that we should um, be very careful about the friends we choose. He said, because we end up taking on their deen. And if we get around these people, we go every day, we go, you know, get around a bunch of people who you know, are talking dirty. You know, they, they, you know the whole attitude is uh, funky, you know, and, uh, and that starts to affect us. It starts to seep in, creep in, you know, you know encroach upon our being. And it, it's going to have an effect over time. You know, one time I was locked up, and I was sitting there. I wonder why Allah kept me in that place, man. It was a hateful place, man. I mean, you know, but it was, yeah, yeah. I knew that there was some good going to come out of it. Because I knew I hadn't done anything wrong. So I knew that the boss of Penal thought I had me in there. You know, that's what I was in there for. Because Allah wanted me to see some things that I hadn't. So, you know, I just was in the mosque, and, you know, in the school, you know, dealing with Muslims. And, you know, Muslim problems. So Penwai really uh, was kind of detached from, you know, our tribe. You know, we call it, you know, the lost tribe of the Shabbat. So if, if back in the day, right, uh, became Muslim, that's what we were you know, told, you know. We belong to a particular tribe. And Allah says in the Quran that he created some nations, different nations and tribes. 
so that we may know one another. And it's implied, uh, implied that we won't despise or hate on each other. So we have a tribe. And that tribe, you know, uh, immigrated here from uh, Africa by way of slave ships. You know, we didn't come here, you know, voluntarily. We didn't come here because we, to, we were seeking the bounty of Allah. We were Shanghai, our ancestors, Shanghai, kidnapped, you know, and brought here. And uh, we belong to a particular tribe. Rasulullah saw us and never, ever renounced his tribe. Even after you became, you know, the Rasul of Allah, and you know, you began receiving wahi from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he never renounced the fact that he was uh, from the Hashemi tribe. He, was, he had a tribe. We have a tribe. You know, we, we come from, uh, we just don't know what our tribe is. So uh, we were told by uh, Elijah Muhammad that we were from the, we were all part of the same tribe. And that tribe was the last tribe of the Shabazz. And we didn't know we put that name on it, because we didn't know if we were, you know, came from, you know, Benin or Shanti or, you know, or Ibu. We didn't know. It was all lost in slavery. They severed those sacred ancestral ties. And we came, uh, my ancestors came over here on those slave ships. And we have, we represent a tribe. And that tribe has to demonstrate that we have a place in this great deen. And we get here and we start following this particular madhab or that particular tariqa or you know, this particular community or jamaat. And we're still, we're still the same. I mean, you know, whether we are, you know, whatever, whatever way that we take, whatever path that we take, subhanAllah, you know, Allah says, what well, you like see it. All of our journeys in with who? El Messiah. Allah's the goal, he's the journey's in. You know, and that's how we find ourselves, and that's how we find each other upon the silk of Muslim. And we were placed there by a loss of power to out, you know, out of mercy. And you say, we stood at the brink of the pit of fire. You know, and, you know, we were even enemies of each other. But a loss of power to out snatched us off of that edge and pulled us back into the circle of Islam. And this circle of Islam uh, not only includes, includes our tribe, but it includes all the tribes. Islam is a universal thing. And subhanAllah the um, uh, Rasul Islam was a universal prophet. He was a rock with the And he was a mercy for all the worlds. And so we find ourselves in the mercy of Allah. You know, joined together. Like uh, Naeem likes to say, well, Connecting our hearts, you know, to that one big heart of Sulawesi, and that forms the Ummah of Sulawesi, who follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sulawesi, which is really a law Sunnah. It's really a law Sunnah, uh, the Sunnah of Sulawesi. And uh, so we have to uh, try to protect that. Guard our deen. We have to uh, protect this deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed us in. And, and, when I, and not just on the macro level, but on the micro level. We have to, you know, we have to um, die not except in a state of Islam. And that state of Islam is not necessarily the khilafah. The state of Islam, of course, that's, that's good, the Khilafah, but the real state of Islam begins with this cult right here, in our chest, in our hearts. That's the real state of Islam, right there, at that level. 